People at home, it is becoming more and more important to take care of your mental health. And this task is even more difficult for those with mental health illness who may find themselves home alone with no one to talk to. Atia Collins talked with one local nonprofit who is seeing a boost in their programs that create virtual buddies for those with mental illness. Now more than ever, Compeer's virtual buddy programs are needed as more and more of the community is sitting in their homes. President Sarah Possamonte says the uncertainty we are facing is felt by her clients with mental health challenges every day. Now we're all experiencing a level of this isolation. And I think more people will be able to relate. The programs connect those living with mental health challenges to mentors in the community. Participants range from five-year-old children all the way up to adults and serve people living with everything from depression to mood disorders. While the program runs year-round, with large gatherings shut down, having a virtual buddy now is beneficial for both mental and physical health. Isolation, loneliness, uh, you know, leading to more and more... Um, disease, um, actual physical disease and health issues as a result of that. People with mental health issues actually having a, a shorter lifespan, sometimes 25 years compared to somebody who doesn't. And children can find this especially helpful as they lose face-to-face -face interaction with friends at school. My mother is a volunteer in the program and she has a nine-year-old mentee who FaceTimes her every day. This just gives them somebody besides a person in their household who they may be getting really sick of right now. Reporting in Rochester for News 8, I'm Atia Collins. All right, Atia, thank you. Governor Cuomo announcing today the launch of a state mental health hotline. More than 6,000 mental health professionals have volunteered to help take calls. That number is 1-844-863. 9314. It's